Hello everybody, it is me, Brexformer, once again back on YouTube, uh, and it has been a while, it has been a while, there's been a lot of things that's been going on, I've, school just ended, I just finished my driver's ed, and now I'm finally back with gaming, and, uh, uh, Captain Cheerio, uh, wanted me to do something new for the channel, and I came up with the idea of the series called Blasts from the Past. And in this series, I am going to be playing any 360 games that are compatible with the Xbox One that I had when I was a kid. And I'm going to play them again as, uh, um, as a teen to see <laughs> just what gaming was like back then. And today... We are going to be playing one of my first ever Xbox One games, Lego Jurassic World. And I'm excited because for this because uh, this is no joke. I have not seen Jurassic Park until a week before um, as of this recording. I have not seen Jurassic Park ever before then. And I am a bit embarrassed by that. But before that, I have seen clips and pieces of Jurassic Park. But now that I've seen the actual movie, I want to play this and see how close it is to actually the movie. So I'm excited for this. So let's just get into it. Let's launch it. And it, it has been a while since I have played any LEGO game. I'm sort of excited. Oh my gosh. It seems so long since I've played this game. Oh my gosh. And the classic music. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, Jurassic World. Okay, let's see. Uh, do I have any low games? It, it has been a while since I have played any low games. I do have a low game. Look at that date. That was the last time I played this game. Almost three years ago. Three years ago, that's the last time I played this game. So, uh, so I am going to be doing a new game. Uh, let's just let's just replace this old file. I can't okay. believe you've done this. Yes. Uh, yes, I'm sure. Oh my gosh. I hate it with like those games that like make sure that you want to do like what you want to do. Oh. <laughs> Just a <like the> hot dog. <laughs> Classic joke. You always think that it's a monster, but that it's just something ridiculous. And that's the hunter guy. I forgot his name, but that, that's who. Like, I'm saying all this because I've never seen Jurassic Park when I was a kid before I watched this before I played this game. So now that I've seen Jurassic Park, I want to see, like, what characters look like which. And... I think that line is actually original, because... I think that some of the voice lines in this game are actually from the movie. So, some I may recognize, some I may not, so I just want to point them out. Because I'm sort of interested in that kind of stuff, like voice lines and stuff. Okay... Here we go. It has been so long. Okay. So I'm. Okay. One thing that I want to do is subtitles there on. Okay. Except. Okay. Now subtitles should be on. There we go. Okay. Uh. And another reason that I want to play this game, I never be at 100%, and now I want to do it at 100%. Okay. Oh, he actually shoots. Uh, let's see. Okay. Gotta get all the studs. Um, let me turn this down. Oh, you could actually drive the forklift? I didn't know that. That's cool. That raptor sound effect, that actually sounds like the sound effect in the movie. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, that was awesome. I hit the guy instead. Okay. Um, pack those. Yeah, these to build. Okay. You have to kick start it with your stun rod. Okay. Okay, yeah, I remember this part. Okay. Well, B. B stacker. I'm used to those games where X is to act. I like interact, not B. Robert Molden, that's his name. I forgot his name. Okay. I remember there's... Yeah, these. I think this is how you get mini kits. Now, let's see. Okay. Yeah, one out of three. So this is for a mini kit. Yeah, but so far in this game, it's actually pretty accurate to the movie. Like, they're at night, there's guards everywhere, there's a raptor in, the, in a cargo thing, or whatever it's called. To be Jurassic Park is just one of those... That's an original line, yeah. Uh, oh, he's a hunter, so... Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I never heard that before, that's why I want to turn subtitles on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this looks exactly like the movie. This is so cool. Yeah, you can shoot those. Oh, that's for a mini K. Okay, so I gotta shoot these. One more. I always like how creative they go with the mini kits. Like in this game, it's a uh, uh, box of bones. And I think it's Indiana Jones. It's a box of treasure because Indiana, Indiana Jones is a treasure hunter. And I really wish that Lego Indiana Jones was compatible with 360 because that was my favorite video game when growing up. Okay, anything else? Okay, and I don't think that we, oh, oh no, we can't get in here, okay, okay, uh, can we push this or not, what's the hint to say, oh, okay, I didn't see that. That's original. That sounds exactly like a movie. The one thing that I'm wondering is, did the, for any voice lines, lines that were added to the game, but weren't in the movie, did they actually get the actors to say them? Because that's what sort of, that's what I would have done if I made this game. Somebody punch in the security code again, will ya? Yeah, so far, all the lines that Muldoon said are originally from the movie, and I really like that. Like, it's all the I authenticity in this game that I really like. Oh, crap. I always hate it when this happens. Okay. Is this on? Come on, work. Come on. Oh, there we go. Sometimes I'll have to turn my controller off. Okay, so... Let's Job see. Seven, eight, nine. That's easy. Alright. 
I don't remember this guy being up here. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> All right. Seriously, doing all that? Oh my Shoot gosh! Him! The things Lego do, does to their video games. <sighs> yeah, in the movie, it wasn't a hot dog. It was actually the guy. So they had to change that. Oh my Lazarus gosh! Raptor? Why no, is why Lazarus does this hate me? Uh, okay. Uh, okay, gotta turn the control off. Maybe one of the other dig Turn sites has turned on. up something. So I can't... I didn't hear those lines, so I can't tell if they're original or not. Come on. Why isn't this working? Oh my gosh, I have to do this. If you... If any of you watch my streams before, this happens a lot, so I know how to deal with it. And my controller isn't working. What the crap? Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, man. Crap. Okay. I have no idea what is going on with these control with this controller. Come on, get in there. There. Okay. Uh, all I keep finding are old coins. What? Really? That's amazing. Huh? Okay. How so? It's well, working. Until now, we had no idea that dinosaurs had any kind of culture. But there we go. Now I have some. Ugh, remind me, what are your qualifications for being on this dig again? I own a spade. Oh, I can feel huh. it. There's a raptor right under here. Okay, save. Yep, I am bang on target. I just gotta keep digging for. Oh, come on, it was there? Oh my gosh, I'm so used to X being interact. Velociraptor? Yeah, it's good shape too. I want partial credit for that thing. Basically mine. Yeah. That's that's the line that Mal um Malcolm said when they were looking at the screen. Okay, that that was a lot easier than when when that when I first played the game. That was a lot harder to do. Jump on the raptor. Come on, boom. Okay. Phew. I'll be excited. And there's another mini gate. Okay. Yeah. Jackhammer. Oh, now we're talking. I promise I'll be careful. Ooh, uh, that might need some assembly. Hmm. You are gonna be careful, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, we... Okay, and jump there. Another mini kit. Just one more step closer to 100%, which is gonna take a while. Oh, one day I forget to bring scissors. Yeah, alright. Now, if I know, we have to go over here. Alright. I remember first playing this game. And thinking, what the heck is this? And is the, like this even real? And I still don't know if this thing is even real. So, if any of you know if this vehicle exists, please let me know because I'm interested. Let's try to get all the studs. Am I stuck? Oh, is it gonna overheat? I'm still stuck! The crap! Oh my 
gosh, this is not how it's supposed to go. I like how they made that. Like, the game can detect if it's stuck for a while. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck again. <laughs> Like, I cannot move. I cannot move. No, 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 not into the wall. Oh my gosh. This is so stupid. How you back this up? How do you back this thing up? Oh my gosh, now I'm climbing the wall. What the crap is going on? So far, I'm wishing that this vehicle isn't real. Is there a way to break it or move it away? Because, like, they need to make it to where it can back up. This is no joke. I cannot move on with the level unless I get this thing away from the wall. Oh, sure. Do as I say. Okay. As I do. This is really making me bad. Oh, my gosh. Am I gonna have to restart the level? Oh, well. Oh, B's the backup. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so infuriating. Why would they make B to back up? Why not just put on the joystick? That's what I would do. Because <laughs> the joystick makes sense. Okay. Six inch. Tractable claw, like a razor, on the middle toe. Alright, our last Velociraptor. Dr. Grant! Dr. Ellie! We're ready to try again! I think, I think that's the line that he said to like when the kid, that he's explaining like how a raptor hunts. I think that's the line that he uses. That's supposed to be this easy because I remember um, to jump onto the Velo Velociraptors, it was a lot harder. Maybe they changed something, or I'm just getting a lot better at this game because <laughs> it was not that easy to jump on those skeletons. Okay, is there anything up here? I'll always take studs. I did not realize I was getting so close to the true survivor. I want to be like a game designer or just something like that when I grow up. So, so for me to look at this and see how that people took the time to make this, it's amazing. I bet so. Sometimes, what I like to think when playing Lego video games nowadays, um, the jokes that they put into it um, are like jokes that the employees made, like while they were making it, or like something like that. Or maybe the actors thought of the joke, I don't know. <laughs> that actually would be really funny, like all the jokes in their scenes, the actors themselves would make up. That would be funny. <laughs> Alright. I give up. You give up. Alright. Uh, Is that everything up, uh, down here? You know, uh, oh, More stuns. Delicate equipment. That's it. It was holding a bunch of delicate equipment. Alright. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, I found a perfectly preserved Kumpsognathus thigh. Really? Uh, no. That's mine. You could have told I me that before I cut the rope. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the classic joke. You think that you found like a like a find of the century, but then it ends up not being it. Okay, okay so I out what's wrong with it. Oh, it we can't even get up there wheels, with the crap. Not one. And handlebars. That's why you fell off of it, Dave. No handlebars. Okay, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to come back with free play. Uh. 
I remember that from the movie. Like, it was like a jackhammer like thing, or like jackhammer like tool. I forgot what it was called. I don't, I don't think they even tell us what it was called. Thanks. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, oh, that there we go. Stop it from leaning over. I'm going around in circles all the time. Just break everything. And there's a wheel. Okay, I'll take the wheel. Oh, crap. My. My uh, Xbox controller almost threw it out. Don't worry, this should help. There we go, true survivor. I love that class of music. Once you hear that class of boo music, you always think Jurassic Park. That's great. Now it looks like the picture in the instructions. Okay, I remember this. There we go. Crossbows. I don't know. Gosh. Oh my gosh, it keeps throwing out. That's the original line, and that is one of the classic lines. That thing looks like a six foot turkey. Oh, but, oh my gosh, did you see that? It looked like it was having a seizure or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's the moment where uh, Malcolm explains to the kid how the raptor hunts. And that's like the line that begins it. There's, jo there's John Hammond. Getting a bit of lag. Ah. Okay, there we go. It's a bit fixed. How I get off? There we go. Okay. Oh. Like, she can't build... She can't make bones? She can't make bones? But she's on the site. Why? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, my controller started out again, so I don't have any sound. Okay, just give me a second, you guys. Turn it off, turn it back on. Now it should work. Yeah, I should hate these problems. There we go, now I can hear. How is it bouncy when it's bones? Hag, it's a Lego it's a Lego game. Get off, I can't jump! Okay, come on. I'm making that. Oh gosh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the line. I did. I, I remember him saying that when I first played the game. I guess that happens only when you go up to the helicopter. But yeah, that was in the movie too. A lot of the stuff is in the movie. This guy has to go to the bathroom. Too bad, buddy. Oh my gosh. His dance just got worse. Where's he going? Oh my gosh. Is he going out in the desert to go? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he just jumped over the edge. Oh my gosh. Another mini kit. Yeah, I think in most LEGO games, uh, you could get about like half of the mini kits um, in every level. Am I stuck? Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Good thing I have a second character. Ah, man, that was lucky. Where are the other sandcastles? Or, like, I built one over there, but, uh, I haven't found any. Who do you think you are? <laughs> Alright. John Hammond. I don't so know. I think that's everything that we could do. Biological preserve. So, spared no expense. Yeah, that's, Our yeah, that's everything we can do. So. Out of their minds. If I could just persuade you to sign it wasn't tea. Park, it, that's in the game. That's tea. You. In the movie, that's wine. What kind of park is this? It's right up your alley. 
just one fine, funny line after that, and like. Uh... So you two um hmm, dig up dig up dinosaurs? All those all those lines were original. Well, try to. I'm not sure. He didn't show that to them. I'm pretty sure he didn't show that. To them. Well, like I was saying, that was a funny line after he said, "Don't blow kids' minds away." for a mathematician. Chaotic. Chaotic. Actually, I just have to laugh when I hear uh, when I hear Jeff Goldum's voice in this game. It's hilarious. All that is original. It's Jeff Goldblum all really said all that. But like I was saying, like after Mal uh uh and we finished the prologue. So like I was saying, it was a funny line um that uh uh the main guy I I forget his name. Like anyway, like uh uh, John Hammond says, it's gonna blow kids away, and then, uh, the guy asks, what are those? And, and the girl says, many versions of, of adults, Sonny, and that just makes me laugh every time I watch that scene. Oh my gosh. Alan Grant, Alan Grant, that's his name. Why do I forget all these characters' names? That's the kid. That's actually the kid. I think that's the exact same hat that he wears. I don't remember getting a forklift, or did I, when I first played it? I don't remember. True Survivor, yep. Yeah. 275 gold bricks. It's gonna take me a while to get to 100%. Okay, what? Oh my gosh. It it shorts out at the worst of times. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want to make sure that I hear. So, is it going to work? Is it not? Oh my gosh. And it's not going to work. Oh my gosh. Turn it off. Turn it on. That glitched the game. This is the actual music that plays when they land. The exact same music. Come on. Good morning, sirs, madam. Welcome to Jurassic Park. The classic Jurassic Park music. And right here, like, you have the choice of going to Jurassic World or Jurassic Park. I, like, who would go to the Jurassic World before going to Jurassic Park? Like, if, if, if you could, if you actually do that, then you are a pretty weird person to play this game. Okay, how, oh, Ace Drive, okay. It's been so long since I played this game, I forgot all the controls. Okay. Okay, they up. Oh my gosh, why? Yeah, and I can't hear again. This piece of crap patrol. And we need... Uh... Hammond. Let's see. 258. 
I'm wondering if the numbers that we put into the game are related to the movie at all. Because I don't remember those numbers, okay. Ian Malcolm. And I think this is a perfect representation of what Jeff, Jeff Goldblum looks like in the movie. Concerned. Like, this looks exactly now, like him, even I'm though uh, he's a Lego. Shut you down, John. <laughs> like, I forget to love it. <laughs> oh, oops. Okay, reverse. Okay, whoa! Oh, Alan, this species of veriformin's been there extinct we go. the Cretaceous period. I mean, this thing is a one of these things. That's not the exact same voice actor. That is completely different. That is not close to the movie at all. <laughs> this is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. It's... it's a dinosaur. I love this scene because this is exactly what people were like back then. They were just like those characters. They were gasping in amazement because they were, for the first time in a long time, we were seeing they were seeing dinosaurs alive for the first time in like millions of years. Doctor Grant, my idea. Yeah, that is not the voice actor. That sounds completely different from the movie. Okay, uh, that's not accurate, uh, um, Ian Malcolm actually laughed, not gasped, but when he heard that, he laughed, not gasped. Just look at that. Oh my gosh, I forgot how big these things were in the game. Oh my gosh, they were, they were huge. Wow, oh what, I meant to get in the car. There we go, okay. And we have another game to get through. Alright, so... And if you guys are are, and if you guys like this video, please leave a like down below because I am very excited to start this blast from the past series. Because just playing these games it reminded me what it's like to be a kid gamer again. It's really f exciting for me. And it's not just this game. There's gonna be a lot more games. I forgot I have to mash, not hold. The classic music that can that music never gets old. There we go, and we open the gate. And one thing, one thing that I want to tell you guys, um, I've found out not too long ago that Jurassic Park was actually based off a book. And I now that I know that I want to read the book and see how well Spielberg did bringing the book to life. Cause the book was so good that uh, two or three other directors actually fought for the rights to make this movie. But lucky for us, Steven Spielberg got the fir got there first. The visitor center. Wow. Where's why can I rotate the camera there? Wow, this is an accurate representation of the Reserve Center. This is incredibly accurate. The most advanced amusement park in the entire world. I like the design that they do with Mr. DNA. But, like, I'm pretty sure in the movie his head wasn't clear. It actually was like uh, four or five of those DNA particles that make up his body and arms. A hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. 
Sometimes after fighting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and become fossilized. This is what we call of course that wasn't in the movie. Using sophisticated that shot was in the movie. The camera the camera slowly moves the T-Rex, that was in the movie. From the mosquito. And now we can make a baby dinosaur. Can they hear me? Oh, good day, sir. Perfect timing. They imprint on the first creature they come in contact with. That's it. One thing I wish to be, that seems possible. That actually seems possible. One thing history like, evolution has taught us is that life uh, finds a way. Like all that, that all that seems is. possible. Uh, like getting blood from a mosquito so from millions of years ago, that seems possible. Leaflet, that is Imagine not uh, uh, Henry Wu's voice. I've hunted most things that can hunt you, but the way these things move, 50, 60 miles per hour if they ever got out in the open. <laughs> they remember. All those were original, but those were changed for the game. Like, he had a lot more dialogue than that. Like, life finds a way. Yeah, there was a lot more dialogue. Well, these cages aren't going to be big enough. You can barely fit a goat in them. Uh. All those lines, uh, he actually told all the main characters that, not to a guard. Yeah, I remember that. You have to shoot the cameras for a minute, kid. Yeah, but all of this is really accurate to the movie so far. But I get how they, why they had to change some stuff just because they had to make it. One, they had to make it into a game. Two, they had to make it suitable for kids. Or so they had to make stuff understandable. Oh, is that dinosaur poop? Oh, yep, that's dinosaur poop. Or as uh, Ellie calls it, droppings. Yeah, I remember that from the movie. Alright, and the fork is still here. There's another camera. And there's the other camera. There's another mini kit. <laughs> A lot of others in this. There we go. Yep. Just trying to get True Survivor now so I don't have to deal with it later. If you guys are wondering when I when I actually do finish the story, and I will go for a hundred percent, I will most likely do those in live streams. So stay tuned on the channel for those. All right. That's better. Now we just add cap. All right. Time to go back up. I think we got everything. Isn't that part of the paddock control panel? There. Alright. Oh, this is buildable stuff? Okay. I forgot about this. <laughs> Just add cow. You add cow to a burger. Yeah, from what I remember, it wasn't uh, a cage in the movie. It was just, they just took a cow, put straps on it, and then called it that their hanger. Not like a cage that uses a crane. And one thing that I'm wondering, we're going to get a fifth Jurassic Park movie, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. If you guys are excited, um, I'm super excited for that, because... 
Um, I was super excited to get a Jurassic World 2 ever since I saw Jurassic World. And now that we're finally gonna get it, I am super excited. And one thing that I'm wondering, are they gonna make a DLC of this game, or are they just gonna make a completely new LEGO game? Okay, where's the guy there? For this you hold, don't press. You are the meals. Yeah, but that is accurate. They actually uh, did have a black cow. So that actually is a black cow. Alright, get all the these studs. Is there anything over here? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, what? Oh, my gosh. Why does this controller hate me? Oh, there's something over there. Oh, there's a medikit over there. I remember. I, I knew something was over here. I remembered. Can I do this again? Can't hear you guys. I don't want to hear. Uh, is it gonna connect? Come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. Okay. Okay, but that's it so far. So let's go get the cow. Oh my gosh! What the crap? And I'm not gonna get sound again. Okay. This... This, I feel like this controller is doing this to be on purpose, because it wasn't this bad when I was when I was playing on camera, off camera. <laughs> well, raptors will almost eat anything, anything. Oh my gosh! It's because I'm on camera. It's because I'm on camera. That's the only reason why this is Someone happening. Else must operate the crane. My injuries are too severe. Wait. Give me a second. Are these shootable? Are these shootable? No. I guess I was just in the first level. Alright, let's see. Let's see if I remember. How are they uh, doing? Okay. Yeah, yeah there was no platform on the okay. cow, it was just strapped in. I like, I like how they have all those hearts for a crane, but yet the crane doesn't move. That just makes me laugh. There's our characters. These will be your transports for the afternoon. Yeah, the those driver. lines oh, no, no, are original. No, 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 drive it. They're electric. They're on this oh, uh, track in the middle of the roadway here. Spare I, no I remember him saying that in the movie. I remember Welcome him saying that. To Jurassic Park. Still not clear on chaos. The shorthand is the, the butterfly. The butterfly can flap its wings. They met in the visitor center, 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 not at the raptor pad. See, see, I'm right again. Nobody could have predicted that Dr. Grant would suddenly, <laughs> suddenly jump out. That of is almost being. all act, all not accurate. The cow went down, and the straps were just destroyed. <sighs> Don't be scared. Come on, it's okay. She's sick. <laughs> that didn't happen. There was one line that made me just smile. I have to insist that we uh, get Jeff Goldblum says you know, when they entered right, the gate, well, well they Dr. got Hardy in their King Kong. The <laughs> and sure. Seems to happen about every six weeks or so. I'd have to see the dinosaurs dropping. <laughs> yep, I remember all that. Oh my gosh! Why is this remote doing this? I can't hear anything. <laughs> uh, uh, I think they had to do that there 
because uh, if I remember, if I remember right, uh, uh, they don't uh, uh, Grant and the kids don't stay in the tree, and the Brachiosaur sneezes in the in the girl's uh, face. So, so I guess they had to do that there just because they had to make the video game work. And um, this is a bit inaccurate. Uh, all that we're doing here. Uh, uh, Ellie did before all the characters left with the cars. Uh, this is something that I would never do. Just dive into a pile of prehistoric poop. That is just messed up. Alright. Right. So she's suffering from meliotoxicity. Hey, uh, drop the carrot. Nice, Sarah. Oh. Is this West Indian Lila? Yes, uh, we know they're toxic. Oh, but where the animals don't oh, eat the carrot despawn? Sure? Dang it! Okay, I think yep, the carrots to just respawn back here. I follows up with pretty sure, but he didn't say that in the game. I'm a bit disappointed with that. One thing I'm wondering, the T-Rex is down there, but how does poop get up there? Doesn't seem to make sense. Like look, that's a cliff, and there seems to be no way to get up there. So how is there poop up there? Okay, now just gotta find an apple. While trying to get true survivor. I think so if I'm about halfway, that means we need like seventy thousand studs or something like that. Maybe like sixty-five thousand to get true survivor. Okay, I'm gonna save here. Okay, yeah, there we go. Really creative how people made this game. Okay, now I need the guy. Did you guys hear that? She said she she just like screamed or something, and that scream was not like the scream that she had in the movies. much every stud is worth like a, I know silver is worth something bro gold's worth something I know blue is worth a thousand and purple's worth uh, ten thousand yeah if there was th 
This was probably one of my most dumbfounded moments when I first played this game. We actually get to play a dinosaur. Oh, whoops. There should be another car parked in the compound northeast of here. There we go, you got a hole to charge, okay. Alright. Two. No, there was. Yep, there's a mini kit in there. And. That was two or three, so where's the final rock? Maybe it's further ahead. Yeah, it's probably further ahead. I'm a bit worried because I'm not seeing the rock. Oh my gosh, I destroyed them. I swear, there's the third rock is back here somewhere. I swear. I just must be going insane or something. Maybe it is for the red. I just forgot. Go. Why don't we have to build that? We could just jump onto the log. Oh, what? That's one thing that I remember. I have a hard time balancing on some things. Because not every pa balancing path is straight. I guess he was stuck on the bridge. There was a third rock, and we got True Survivor, a 2-1. Oh, man, there's supposed to be someone on duty here to release the ladder to that walkway. But you know, I can't blame him for wanting to get out of this weather. Even though I got True Survivor, I'm still gonna collect as many studs as I can. And I guess they took the car Next. with them as well. We better find ourselves a shortcut, Dr. Sattler. So these calls are pretty easy, but I think they had to do that because, again, this game was intended for kids. But for me, I'm just a fan of Jurassic Park. <laughs> Like, even though that we never got to see, like, this place in the movie, it... I like how they made it so, like, it's intended to be here. Like, it... Like, even though that we never got to see it, we feel like that it should be here, even though that we never see it. Alright. Let's see... I like how there's just like a bunch of random food going out of it. This way, we can get to the visitor center through that hole. Like there was ice cream, there were apples, there were leaves. 
It's like something that a dinosaur would eat. We needed locking mechanisms. Like it just see, it doesn't door. seem that uh, a dinosaur would eat Item that. On today's glitch list. We this is one part of the game that I hated when I was a kid, when doing this. Oh, no, I need, I need Sarah. Your hands and you have butterfingers? I'm totally unappreciated. What? How? What? How did I break? You know anybody who can network okay. eight connection machines and debug two million lines of code for what I bid for this there job? There we go. Oh, yeah. Hey, oh, and we yeah. got our first dinosaur in Toronto paddock. I think all this would have happened right after they got out of the car. One point five million if you get all fifteen species off the island. Seven o'clock. These dock. Oh. oh my gosh. Why? Why controller? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that all of those lines are original for this scene. That conversation happened before he even got on the island. And we finished the second level! Uh, what's the red stud? Like, there's a red stud in the corner, and I have never seen a red stud in the game, ever. Is there a way to skip this that I don't know about? How much you want to bet that's a Triceratops skeleton? Okay, we got a normal Alan Grant, a normal Ellie, Ellie Sattler, Dr. Harding, Dennis Nerdy, and the lawyer. I have no idea how to pronounce his last name. A lab technician. Now we got our first dinosaur, and of course, it's the Triceratops. I like how the game just gives you the dinosaurs. Like, that's easy. Like, some of the most iconic, more iconic ones that were in the movie, they just give it to you. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna have to add our first video here. Um, so if you like this video, give it a like. If you don't like this video, why are you even watching this? And, uh, why are you even this far into this video? And if you like our content, and if you're excited for my Blast from the Past series, because this is not going to be the only game that I'm going to play for my Blast from the Past series. Um, there's going to be, like, Meet the Robinsons, uh, uh, what else? Uh, oh, Sonic Generations, and another game that I forgot. So, anyway, I hope that you enjoy those games, and I hope that you enjoy this new series. So, if you enjoyed this, um, in the great words of Braxform, or Braxform, I'm out. Peace!